I am pleased to announce that uh, b the Biocon Group has uh, had a very strong first quarter. We have seen a 15% surge in uh, revenues uh, to, to, for, to 857 crores. Our net profit has uh, surged 23% from 103 to 126 crores. Our net profit margins have also improved from 14 to 15 percent. EBITDA has uh, increased from 191 crores last fiscal to 236 crores this fiscal. EBITDA margins have also jumped from 26 to 28 percent. R&D expenses have also increased from 31 to 50 crores uh, at a net level. Uh, at a gross level, it's much higher. We spent 93 crores of R&D uh, expenses this year, this quarter, and uh, from uh, 63 crores, which is a jump of 47 percent. Now, uh, as you can see, we have therefore delivered a strong set of numbers despite uh, increased R&D spends uh, and uh, other uh, other aspects of our business. Having said that, I'd also like to mention that this quarter did see a one-time uh, 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 effect of a <coughs> capacity reservation fee that was basically concluded uh, with, uh, with um, Merck, Cubist, for our fidoxamycin. And this particular capacity reservation fee absorbed uh, Merck from... Uh, this capacity reservation obligation in the future. But having said that, uh, they have renewed the contract for uh, fidoxamycin for an additional seven years. And they have also freed up and allowed us to utilize the dedicated facility uh, for our own product needs. And I think, therefore, this has been a very important uh, agreement with uh, Merck, which has not only realized a one-time fee, but it also adds capacity for some of our other product needs. And at the same time, we have actually entered into a, an additional seven-year contract for fidoxamycin. So I think overall, I think this has been a very important um, you know, uh, event for Biocon this quarter. Uh, and this uh, one-time uh, fee that uh, we received from Merck also basically buoyed up our margins this quarter. and. Uh, Apart from that, we've also seen some good licensing revenue coming in from licensing our biosimilars in uh, key emerging markets, largely on account of trastuzumab licensing, which again is a very, very important asset for us. Uh, our biopharmaceuticals uh, business, uh, therefore, if you exclude the, uh, the uh, one-time fee that we got from uh, Merck, uh, did see a relatively flat performance in terms of product and licensing. But having said that, I must also mention here that we have taken a planned uh, shutdown this quarter, um, you know, which for 45 days, which of course impacted product sales. But having said that, we are now back uh, and resumed operations, and therefore you should see improved, uh, you know, product uh, sales in the coming quarters. Uh, we have mitigated partly this shutdown through contract manufacturing, but uh, uh, what we do expect in the coming quarters is to see a, a, a stronger growth in product sales. Licensing continues to be a very, very attractive and continued revenue stream for us. Um, I would also like to say that um, our biosimilars are really beginning to drive growth and profitability for the company. We saw two very successful launches of insulin Glargine in uh, Colombia and Mexico, and we expect Glargine again to be a good growth driver in the future. Emerging markets are becoming very important for Biocon. We are seeing a very strong uptake of our biosimilars uh, through various licensing arrangements, and we can see these translating into commercial opportunities in the near future. So this will uh, drive strong and profitable growth for the company uh, as we go forward. Uh, we are also seeing very good progress in terms of our clinical advancement of many of our programs. Uh, we have the largest number of portfolio of biosimilars in uh, uh, clinical trials. In phase three clinical trials, we have 
four partnered programs with Mylan, which includes Trastuzumab, which includes Pegfilgrastim, which includes Glargin and Adalimumab, all in global phase three clinical trials. And we have also announced that uh, both uh, Trastuzumab and Pegfilgrastim have uh, are nearing completion in terms of their uh, recruitment. And uh, as for Glargin, we have already completed the recruitment for both uh, type 1 and type 2 diabetics. And uh, we expect uh, to be able to, you know, file for uh, Glargin, hopefully next calendar year. Um, and of course, uh, Trastuzumab and Pegfilgrastim will also then be ready for filing uh, after the completion of these uh, trials. Now, uh, this is a very exciting time for Biocon because we have the largest portfolio of uh, biosimilars um, and uh, we are also pleased to announce that we have commenced a phase one study for Bevacuzumab, bi uh, you know, biosimilar Bevacuzumab, which, you know, which as you know is already in phase three clinical trials for ROW filings. So I think you can see the direction in which Biocon is heading. Uh, I'm unable to make any comments on Syngene because this is the closed period as we prepare to open the issue on Monday. So I'm afraid I will not be able to take uh, and comment on anything to do with uh, Syngene. But suffice to say that uh, Syngene uh, is uh, going to be the first research services company to list on the stock exchange. तो बायोकॉन ने बेहतरीन नतीजे पेश किए हैं कंपनी के सी एंडी किरण मजुमदार शो नतीजों पर बात करते हुए मुनाफा और आय दोनों में अच्छी खासी बढ़ोतरी देखने को मिली है और किस तरह से आगे और कई नई दवाइयों पर कंपनी काम कर रही है यूरोपियन बिजनेस इनका बढ़ रहा है इस पर बात करते हुए कंपनी के पास बायोसिमिलर का सबसे बड़ा पोर्टफोलियो है और ये इनके लिए अच्छा अच्छी बात है और साथ ही में किस तरह से रिसर्च और डेवलपमेंट पर इन्होंने काफी खर्चा बढ़ाया है तिरानवे करोड़ इस पूरे क्वार्टर में इन्होंने खर्चा किया है और जो कि पुराने क्वार्टर्स के मुकाबले कहीं ज्यादा है ऑलमोस्ट 40-45 परसेंट ज्यादा है आ, मैं यहां पर शर्मिला आपके पास आना चाहूंगी बायोकॉन के अच्छे रिजल्ट बाजार के लिए अच्छी खबर और डेफिनेटली बायोकॉन के लिए तो अच्छी खबर है ही Uh, बिल्कुल एंड दिस इज अ स्टॉक आई लाइक इनफैक्ट आई हैव अ टारगेट ऑफ 625 ऑन द स्टॉक और आई थिंक टू थ्री बिग टेक अवेज एक तो जिस तरह से उन्होंने uh, ये कहा कि uh, uh, जो उनको जो मॉक uh, uh, से जो uh, उनका लाइसेंस सात साल से बढ़ गया है एंड इट हैज यू नो द फैसिलिटी हैज बीन फ्रीड अप आई थिंक दिस इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पीस इम्पॉर्टेंट डेवलपमेंट एंड आई थिंक सेकेंडली यू नो दैट होल इंसुलिन बिजनेस विथ वेयर दे आर नाउ गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड इन कोलम्बिया मैक्सिको बिकॉज यू नो दैट हैज ऑलवेज बीन एक वो बायोकॉन का एक लॉन्ग टर्म गेम प्लान वही रहा है कि इंसुलिन शुड बी मेड अवेलेबल अक्रॉस द ग्लोब एट बेटर रेट्स एंड आई थिंक दे आर नाउ रियली ऑन ऑन अ रोल सो टू स्पीक टू सर्ट ऑफ गेट मोर फुटप्रिंट अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड फॉर दैट सो आई थिंक दैट्स अ वेरी बिग डेवलपमेंट और जैसे आपने कहा कि बायोसिमिलर्स को लेकर जिस तरह से उनका सबसे बड़ा पोर्टफोलियो है और जो जिस चीज पर वो कमेंट नहीं कर सकी दैट सिंजन इज एक्चुअली गोइंग फॉर अ लिस्टिंग सो वो भी आई थिंक एक तरह से एक वैल्यू अनलॉक रहेगा बायोकॉन के लिए सो ऑल थिंग्स पुट टूगेदर आई थिंक कि यू नो मे बी टू थ्री क्वार्टर्स अर्ली और हम देख रहे थे कि थोड़े नरम जैसे नतीजे थे और अगर एक फार्मा स्टॉक में देर इज वन स्टॉक दैट इज नॉट रियली पार्टिसिपेटेड इन द रैली दस बायोकॉन बट आई थिंक यू नो अगर पिछले दो क्वार्टर से हम अच्छे नतीजे देख रहे हैं वंस आई थिंक सिंचन का लिस्टिंग भी हो जाता है यू नो वी कैन ओनली एक्सपेक्ट फॉर द बेटर थिंग्स फ्रॉम बायोकॉन सो एज ए साइड आई एम पॉजिटिव ऑन द स्टॉक विद द टारगेट ऑफ 625 बिल्कुल और आज देखिए इन अच्छे नतीजों के बाद स्टॉक में भी हम एक अच्छा रनअप देख रहे हैं तीन परसेंट की बढ़त बायोकॉन में है आय मुनाफा दोनों में इन्होंने बढ़ोतरी दर्ज की है और आने वाले सालों के आने वाले महीनों के लिए भी अच्छा आउटलुक दे रहे हैं बायोकॉन लेते एक छोटा सा ब्रेक लेकिन ब्रेक के 